and also chair the Justice Minister. And really, I want to tell you about why we set up this particular All Parliamentary Group. I don't need to explain to everybody here the importance of Umrah and especially of Hajj for Muslims. For many of them, it's a combination of savings of money for years and years to be able to perform the pilgrimage and also to come out for Umrah. So when we hear sometimes of stories when things go wrong in either in the United Kingdom or the uh, in, in the Kingdom, we're very concerned about those things. And so Rashid Magwadi, who I know has been doing tremendous work with the Council of British Parties, and I've been talking about this, and we consider that I think one of the ways we can assist everyone is to set up this group, because the all parliamentary groups consist of members of parliament and members of the House of Lords across the political division. So it doesn't belong to any political parties. We have members from the Conservative Party, the Liberal Democrats, the SNP, Conservative members, Labour members. So the idea is that we all work together collectively for the good and betterment of the um, experience of those who do Umrah and to do the Hajj. The main objective of our uh, APPG, one is a three-way communication system, so between the UK consulate in Jeddah, the Ministry of Hajj and Umrah, and the Ministry of Health as well. The second thing is the pre-Ramadan visit, so that things are organised. We want to promote study development in the United Kingdom, and also want to raise awareness of the issue of health and safety as well. Now, I'm very delighted that I'm accompanied by my delegation, and I just want to briefly mention the, the people who are with me. So, Rashid Magrade, who is the chair of the CBH UK award-winning charity, also with me is Nadeem Qureshi from USS Solutions, an IT company with specialised in Hajj and Umrah software. Khalid Rumi and Faisal Ali from USI Money, the leading financial institution in the UK for Hajj and Umrah payments. Prince Islam Al Sawi from Al Sawi Travel, the first British company to arrange Hajj and Umrah from the United Kingdom. Now, Say very kindly mentioned about the fact that you know we have 100,000 Umrah pass passengers and 26,000 high pilgrims. If we translate that into a financial term, that comes to something in the region of 310 million pounds worth, and if you convert it into Saudi Real, as my last calculation, 1.5 billion. So it is eminently important for everybody from the financial side of things as well. And therefore, it's even more important that both countries work together on this to ensure not only that the experience of people doing Hajj and Umrah is wonderful, but also, of course, it makes some financial sense as well. But I do want to say some thank yous as well. And the thank yous go to SAF and the British Council for very kindly hosting us today. Uh, for Zondam International, uh, for the work that they have done for us, and also at Saudi Airlines, who were the platinum sponsors of the Hajj and the Umrah, uh, Hajj and Umrah Award. And I'm particularly grateful to Patricia Gallo, who is the regional uh, sales manager for Europe, who has been tremendous help and support to us. You are brilliant, Patricia. So we thank you very much for all your support and help as well. But as I said, to go back to, essentially, we want to make sure that the experience of people who do Hajj and Umrah is a good one, and we're going to try to work, and I know that I'm so pleased to see you, that's from, from the, the ministry here as well, and it's great to see uh, many business people here, and the community, and I think together we all need to work to ensure that things are done properly, that everyone is helped. Now, to go into more detail of some of the work that we're doing, I'm going to invite, to invite um, uh, 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 Lord Grubard, who's the Vice Chairman, to say a few words about the group and some of the things that we want to talk about. And then later on, Rashid Magradia, the CEO of the CBH, uh, which is a fantastic voluntary organisation. Uh, and then he can go into more details of uh, the work carried out.